Now let's visit the website opcsystems.com. From the main page you see summary information about the opcsystems.net product as well as individual product features that are included in the entire suite. Let's go to the opcsystems.net product page by selecting more info or on the opcsystems.net icon. From this product page you can see more detailed information, again summary information of all the different product features. You can also visit each individual product feature on the left. If we go to, for example to the opctrend.net product page, this gives us a overview of the opcsystems.net, uh, the trend product feature and where to download and where to purchase as well. Let's go back to the opcsystems.net product page. Here we can download the full suite. We can also ha select a features selection to do a product comparison with your own third-party proprietary software package against some of the product features of opcsystems.net. For example, there are no tag limit count. There's no cost for the number of tags that you implement with a uh, system. It is server-based licensing, so it allows unlimited numbers of local and remote client applications. The cost is $1,995 US for an entire suite, or you can purchase individual product features, some as low as $295. There is corporate licensing available for end-user customers and some OEMs, and there's also a 50% discount for all customers if you purchase more than 10 uh, licenses. From the individual product page, on the left, we can also select the Smart Client page. This is a overview of what Smart Client deployment is and how it's implemented using Microsoft Visual Studio with Click Once Deployment. By simply selecting the project properties, there's a Publish tab that you can then use to deploy applications. All of the components that you use in your Visual Studio application must be 100% managed. You cannot include an ActiveX control or a COM component, so you want to be careful to use either only opcsystems.net components or other third-party components that are 100% managed. On this same page, you can see a link to run an example smart client application. I would encourage you to try this yourself. It brings up an example web page that was rendered and generated using the Visual Studio Click Once Deployment feature. This web page is automatically generated for you, and you can view the source and reference the link and include this in your own web page for your customers. So it's a way to deploy an application for your clients and customers and keep them all up to date with the very latest software just like you would with some of the antivirus software that automatically updates once a day. If we select the run button it will go out to the internet to a particular server in Texas because this has been run already on this system it automatically launched if there was a new version available it would automatically bring that across but no registration would be required because there are no ActiveX controls to register if we then select menu symbols we are then linked to the system in Texas at opcsystemserver.com so anywhere in the world you can actually control this application and view data from that so here we can fill the tank by opening the fill valve and you can see the speed and performance of sending data and then receiving that confirmation back even across the internet is extremely fast very good and we do provide queuing let's see an example of that if we go to data read values this is an example of how to programmatically access data from a service but if you select the add ramp to button we then subscribe to the service to then receive all values that the service receives for that individual tag the code for this is actually included in the example application so you can see that we have 100 millisecond data even though we're communicating across the internet we're receiving all of the values
So your data could actually be changing as fast as 100 nanoseconds. In your Visual Studio application, you can actually write multiple values with timestamps. We will handle those and properly index them for the trending, alarming, data logging, and of course this OPC controls data component that we're seeing here. If we select Menu All, here we'll see an example of the trend window, alarm window, and the OPC controls visualization components all in use. So with the alarm window, we have uh, multiple alarms. We can acknowledge those alarms. As we're acknowledging that alarm, it goes down to the system in Texas and it feeds back that confirmation out to all remote clients all over the world. With the trend component, we see the buffering capabilities that the trend information was buffered. So the first time we've brought up this application, all the data was already available for the last 60 seconds. And it is not a web-based application. It's very interactive. You can do things like 3D rotation, use uh, stop the runtime and use sliders to see what time what values are at specific time of day. This is uh, again you're seeing a hundred percent managed component running communicating across the internet. So with that application open we can see we can actually change some of the properties during runtime. If we right click or use this edit icon from the trend window we can select the pens selection and modify some of the pen properties. For example let's change that first pen from a style of line to an ellipsoid type. When we click OK those changes are applied to that component and there you see it. There is a special property of this component called configuration file. If you want each individual user to maintain their own runtime properties, you can implement that property so that their settings are stored locally, even though the smart client application is one generic application for all users. You can also bring up web-based applications as well. Let's do that. If we go back to the website, opcsystems.com, let's visit the individual product page, OPC Web Controls. From this product page, you'll find a link that says to run an interactive uh, demonstration of OPC Web Controls in action. When you select this link, it launches a web page with some buttons for selection. Let's go to the Symbols selection. There we see that the pump, valve, and the two tanks that we from the same set of data that we looked at previously with the smart client. So from the smart client, let me go back to that page. If I select menu, symbols, I am now looking at the same set of data in the web application as I have with the smart client. I can actually also change data from the web-based application. Important to know that both the WinForm and the web-based applications all have the ability to have user-based security built in. So we can eliminate uh, privileges of configuration, possibly restrict certain users from being able to write values, even restrict uh, generic operators from reading some specific values or all values until they have logged in with the proper credentials. Now let's go ahead and close the fill valve and we'll open the drain valve. Now as you're seeing this, the feedback to the smart clients actually just as fast as I'm clicking on it from the web application. The web application has about a one second update rate. This can be changed. You can go down as fast as 100 milliseconds, but with a web application, the rendering has to be done on the server and then the content be rendered up to the client. There is JavaScript being implemented on the client, so you see that even though data is changing, there is no page refresh uh, at the bottom. There's also no Java applets or ActiveX controls to install so these web-based applications can be run on smartphones that have web browsers or other operating systems uh, with other browsers like Firefox or Safari. But you can see the speed and performance with the smart client is, uh, is a little better than the web-based application but again the setup and development of both of these components are the same. From the web application, let's take a look at another product feature called opcwebtrend.net. If you go back to the menu and select 
Trend 2D, we can take a look at the trend in 2D mode. We'll do the same from the Smart Client application. Select Menu Trend, and here we have the same data represented in a web-based application and a Smart Client application. The web-based application is, does support history replay, but it's not quite as interactive uh, with all the different f product features that the WinForm component has. Now let's take a look at some alarms from both the Smart Client and the web-based version. We'll go to the Alarms page, and here we'll see all of the real-time alarms uh, that are currently active or not active and not acknowledged currently. So we can acknowledge alarms from the Smart Client, and we will see that feedback from the web application and also in the Smart Client. We can also do historical replay of alarms that we have recorded. And we can acknowledge all alarms from the web application. And there you can see the Smart Client, its feedback is a little bit faster than the web application, but again, it is the same set of data. From the WinForm version, we can set filtering, we can choose what types of alarms we want to uh, subscribe to, uh, which network nodes we want to connect to. And from this Smart Client application, it's uh, got a nice feature of the network nodes. You can actually change all connections with one click to a different network node. You can also programmatically change uh, your uh, settings of your web-based application as well. So design time or runtime properties uh, can be changed at any time. Now let's take a look if you have ins downloaded and installed opcsystems.net and to do that let's take a look again where we do that. From the website opcsystems.com if we go to any of the opcsystems.net product features you can go to the download button and there's where we can download the software for a 30-day evaluation. Once we have installed the software, you have the program group opcsystems.net and under that you have an example application. If we run that example application, it will be connected to your local system. So if I select menu symbols, I am now connected to my local data set running on my on your own local computer. But if you go to network node and then select the button that says OPC systems internet server, it will reconnect all controls, trend, alarm, and all visualization uh, components with one method uh, to the system in Texas now. So this is a way you can see this feedback performance if you're running this application say on multiple computers or even on the same computer but in multiple instances you can see the feedback of when you're writing something down to the system in Texas over the internet and then getting the feedback back to you. 